In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the cell permission limiter add-on for Google Sheets. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is go to the add-ons menu here. I'm going to go to cell permission limiter and I'm going to press set up. This will then uh, give me a prompt where I can decide how many input columns I would like. I'm just going to choose one for now, but this can be always altered later if necessary. So I'm just going to press OK. And what this will do now is it will set up my spreadsheet. You can see there that it has created a sheet, uh, it has created a new tab. I'm just going to move it across and put it as number one. You could also give it a different name if you wanted to, but that won't affect uh, how the add-on works. Now you can see here I have got two columns, an email column and a name column. If I were to put in an email address here and a name, that is absolutely fine. I could put all of my students in for the emails and their names, but that could be quite time consuming. So what I'm actually going to do is come up here to the add-on menu and choose classroom sync. And what this will do is we'll open a sidebar on the right hand side of the screen and we'll show you all of the classes that you are a teacher. Uh, so you can select the class or multiple classes if you wish and then just go right to the bottom and press add students. If you are a super admin you will be able to see all of the classes within your organization. So you can see there what has happened now uh, is the script has run and it has uh, brought in all of the email addresses and all of the names of the student in that particular class. Uh, now what you would do is you would go up to add-ons, cell permission limiter and you would choose set protections and what that will do is it will run through all of the list of students and it will make sure that they are only allowed to write in their row. So for example demo 11 here would only be able to write in this cell here. He wouldn't be able to change any of the other uh, student information. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do uh, to make this demo quicker is I'm just going to remove uh, the majority of the students here. It does take a couple of minutes uh, for the script to run depending on how many uh, students you have in the class. Uh, so I'm just going to go here to add-ons and then this time I'm going to do set protections. And what this will do is it will hide the email column so that it's not visible. Uh, and you can see here over on the right hand side, uh, the protections are being generated. So you can see here that for example, demo student 10 is only able to edit uh, the, the cell C2, which is his cell. And demo 11 similarly is only able to edit C3. They're not able to edit anything else on the uh, spreadsheet. Uh, if you need to then cancel or make any alterations, what you can do is you can go to the add-ons menu and you can reset protections that will bring back the email column and it will also uh, remove all of the protections on the sheet. Uh, this might be because, for example, you needed to add in an extra column so that now your students will have two columns uh, that they can write in. And you can see again as we run the protections, it's actually going to give each student access to all of the columns within their row rather than just the one. Uh, so you can have as many columns as you like and it will uh, make sure that each student is only able to write in the row that contains their email address. Uh, possible use case scenarios here might be if you wanted uh, the students to share a link to a script that they made in Scratch or possibly a link to a drive file that they made uh, that then the rest of the class would be able to view and, uh, and, uh, and watch, uh, but they wouldn't be able to edit that or change it either deliberately or accidentally. Uh, so thank you for watching and I hope you find this product really useful.